David and Meg, firefighters are making progress, getting the situation under control. Right now, we are standing at the corner of Hogarth and Nedra. This is about as close as we can get, again, because the scene is active. We still have firefighters on scene, police are on scene, and, you know, those explosions were still happening when we were standing here. We haven't heard anything in the past maybe 45 minutes. You can see the smoke is still billowing in the air, and we have learned that two homes are a complete and total loss right now. Um, I'm not seeing any homes on the left side on fire. We are seeing a structure on the right side. It looks like a tree or something is inflamed over there. But again, they're still trying to get this situation under control. And again, we do know that two homes are a total loss. People are still standing out here trying to make sense of this situation. We have people who either used to live over here or currently live over here. And um, we do have someone who is concerned currently live over here. And um, we do have someone who is concerned about a loved one who does live along this block. And we've been trying to gain information on what's happening with that. But a lot of concern tonight. You know that the explosion was heard throughout Genesee County, just from Grand Blank to the Flint area. A lot of people on social media just pouring in questioning what the loud explosion was. We're still trying to figure out that information. Right now, you can see officials are incredibly busy trying to get this situation under control. And it appears they are still hosing down some of those flames right now. But just take a look at the plumes of smoke just in the sky right now. It, it has been a very intense situation. A lot of people concerned and that are just standing out here and concerned about their loved ones that live along this block. Now, due to those explosions, Hogarth Avenue between Ballinger Highway and Austin Parkway is closed. So you do want to make sure you avoid this area. Again, for the most part, it seems they do have things under control. But like I said, when we were here, we heard a couple of explosions after that big explosion. So definitely make sure you avoid this area. Reporting live in Flint, Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV5.